Well, James, it was an unexpected <laughs> end to the week, but a terrific three points and a great performance from the players today. Yeah, obviously it came as a massive shock to us, um, but all we could do was play today and uh, get the three points. You know, that's football, everything changes in football, obviously. A lot of words, gutted, sad, disappointed he left, but it was out of our hands at the end of the day and we had to wear footballers and we had to do our job. Yeah, Luke Joyce said before the game that everyone was devastated but determined to carry on and, and make it back-to-back -back wins and that's exactly what you've done. I think the home games, um, obviously Tramia and Wimbledon, we um, we wanted to win both of the games and then obviously hard work and we've, uh, we've won both games so I think that can kick on our season. Obviously momentum's a big thing, isn't it? Those back-to-back -back wins can make such a difference, can't they? And the players looked more confident even with all that's gone on. I think... Um, First 15 minutes, we had, we started really, really well, put them under a lot of pressure. I think we had four corners in the space of five minutes and we unlucky not to put the ball in the back of the net. But, you know, uh, I think we passed the ball as well, probably one of the best we've done this season. But they obviously, they um, defended really deep, obviously away from home, but eventually we brought them down. There weren't loads of clear chances, but when you got one in the 84th minute, you stuck it away, number five for the season. Yeah, I got a bit of stick for the first half. I probably should have edited it. I don't, try to take it down and obviously my job's to score goals and then and I, I thought to be to be honest if I get a chance that I was going to put it away and luckily I did. What were the celebrations all about? Everybody involved? Yeah it was just something that we uh, we planned um, before the game so it was just a bit of a for the for the gaffer really. What? Obviously a, a bit of a bittersweet day for you, but in terms of James Beattie, in terms of what he's taught you and how much he's brought you on, I, I guess that goal shows how how much he's brought you on as a player. Yeah, I think for me as well, personally, I got on really, really well with him. Uh, obviously, he was my roommate, my teammate, and then obviously he was my manager, and he's obviously always going to be my friend. I uh, owe a lot to him for the way I've probably improved in the last um, year and a bit, so yeah, can't uh, give him enough praise, but... Obviously, it's happened and you've just got to get on with it. And obviously, Paul Stevenson in the dugout today, a big character, a big part of the success last season as well. Yeah, obviously, things with Steve Oi, him and um, James Beatty had the same sort of mindset, so it was basically just the same. You know, we didn't do anything uh, didn't do anything different. Our game plan was exactly the same as uh, Tramia, so it's just good to get the win, really. And I guess you'll all be keen that, that Paul Stevenson gets an opportunity to, to impress. He started very well, hasn't he? I hope so. You know, the lads are backing him. He gets on with a lot of the... He's got a lot of respect in the changing rooms. Uh, again, he's improved me and helped me a lot along the way, so I can't have uh, enough words to praise him as well. And, and obviously you'll, you'll probably welcome a day off and a day away from everything after after everything that's gone on in the last 24 hours. Yeah, I think it would have been, obviously if we'd have uh, got beat it would have been even worse, but obviously it gives you a bit of, of a lift um, winning, but we've got to go again Tuesday at the end of the day, this club's bigger than everyone. So we've just got to get the points on the board and kick on and see where we end up. And, and Tuesday night, obviously a difficult trip, long trip, but you'll be just bouncing in terms of the performances and the results you've had in the last two games. Yeah, obviously, you know, they didn't win again today. So as James Beat used to say, a wounded animal, but we've just got to kick on and don't feel sorry for them and hopefully get the three points like we did last year against them.